The peak of fall colors in Colorado has officially arrived in the Rocky Mountains. The explosion of spectacular colors is in abundance and the leaf peepers are out in force. Our favorite place to go is the Peak to Peak Highway above Boulder, Colorado. We start in Boulder and make our way to Estes Park, Colorado, where we find herds of elk roaming the town. So come along with us as we drive along the Peak to Peak Highway in search of fall colors. All across this land are beautiful sights to behold, history to uncover, and places to explore. Colorado Martini has been lucky enough to travel across the countryside to see some of these wondrous sights. This is Colorado Martini on the road. One of our favorite things to do is to go leaf peeping on Highway 7, better known as the Peak to Peak Highway. We start in Boulder, go up Boulder Canyon, go through Netherlands, drive along the Peak to Peak Highway all the way into Estes Park. And when we get to Estes Park, there's a surprise icing on the cake. We start in Boulder in the morning so we can have breakfast at one of the many fabulous restaurants. Then we make our way up Boulder Canyon, where we might stop to watch the rock climbers or take in the beauty of Boulder Falls. So people come up every fall and they go on the Peak to Peak Highway. And as you can see, all the people are stopping to take pictures because the view is just spectacular with the peaks. Did you know a grove of aspens are likely one organism? A stand or group of aspen trees is considered a single organism with the main life force underground in its extensive root system. In a single stand, each tree is a clone of the other. This is why scientists call a group of aspens a clone of aspens. An aspen grove can be older than the massive sequoias or the biblical bristlecone pine. The oldest known aspen clone has lived more than 80,000 years in Utah's Fish Lake National Forest and is called Pando. It is estimated to weigh over 6,600 tons and spans 107 acres. Pando was once thought to be the world's largest organism, but was beat out by a thousand acre fungal mat in Oregon. you hear that sound? It is the aspen trees quaking. Aspen trees quake because of the way the leaves are attached. Each heart-shaped leaf is attached 
to the leaf stem, which in turn is attached to the branch. An aspen leaf stem is flat instead of the usual round stem. The stem is attached at a 90 degree angle to the flat leaf. This in turn causes the leaves trembling motion and sound. So when I start seeing changes in our trees here at the base of the Rocky Mountains, then I know we're getting close to the time that it's gonna be absolutely spectacular up in the mountains. As the trees prepare to lose their leaves, they begin to slow chlorophyll production. The green chlorophyll begins to disappear from the leaves and we begin to see yellow and orange colors. Small amounts of these colors have been in the leaves all along. We just can't see them in the summer because they are covered up by the green chlorophyll. So are there peaks on the Peak to Peak Highway? Yes, there are. Our favorites are the Twin Peaks, Mount Meeker and Longs Peak. Both peaks are above the tree line, which makes them stand out from the surrounding area. In the shadow of Mount Meeker, you will find the stunning St. Catherine's Chapel on the Rock. The Chapel on the Rock is a functioning Catholic chapel and tourist landmark, and you can find it in Allen's Park. The chapel is located on the grounds of St. Mallow Retreat Conference and Spiritual Center of the Catholic Archdiocese of Denver, and it's open to the public. This chapel is a must stop for pictures. So we stopped at the chapel, so we're gonna go see if we can go in, because for a long time it was closed down. So let's go take a look and see if we can go inside. So unfortunately, we weren't able to get into the chapel. There's a wedding going on. Imagine that. Um, I have been trying to get into that chapel for a really long time. It was closed for the longest time. And so they, they I guess they remodeled it and it's been open, I don't know, for maybe a year. Just below the Twin Sisters Peak East, you can find Enzo Mills Cabin peeking out from the woods. Inzo Mills is best known for being the father of Rocky Mountain National Park. After hearing John Muir speak, he was inspired to educate the public and Congress of the importance of setting aside 
large land areas for preservation of scenery and wildlife. Inzo Mills Cabin was homesteaded in 1885 and is now a museum that was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1973. It is still owned and operated by Enzo's descendants and is open year round by appointment. As I said earlier, there is a special surprise in Estes Park awaiting you. In mornings and late afternoons, you will be treated to herds of elk roaming the town. September and early October is considered rut season, a time when male bull elk seek female cow elk for mating. It is common to hear them bugling, fighting, and roaming the streets. But keep your distance. They are particularly aggressive this time of year. So I'm sitting at a dog park in Estes Park, Colorado, and there's just this elk cruising next to the dog park. Only in Estes Park in September do you see stuff like that. <laughs> He's just cruising along. Did you know there is a relationship between elk and aspen trees? Elk eat the smooth white bark of aspen trunks, resulting in a thick, corky bark reaching as high as the elk can reach. Elk chew the bark from the aspen trees on their winter range. On heavily used ranges, this can have a significant impact on the mature trees. The recent reintroduction of predators to Colorado can allow the aspen to rejuvenate. It has long been apparent to scientists that predators such as wolf packs can decrease the overall number of elk in the region. The pack can consume 16 to 22 elk a year, which in turn helps the aspens recover. Young aspens also provide food for other animals such as moose, black bear, beaver, porcupine, and rodents. Peak fall foliage usually arrives in Colorado between mid-September and mid-October. But this can vary from season to season as it is dependent on the temperature and location. There are many websites and news outlets that can keep you up to date on the leaf peeping season here in Colorado. Make sure to catch all our videos on the beautiful Rocky Mountain State of Colorado.